Okay, I'm going to show everyone a quick way to get a representation of this agave with very little drafting, but copy, copying, pasting, and rotating. Uh, using my polyline tool, and again using the uh, key above the tab key to suspend my snapping, I'm uh, going to take the time and draw uh, one leaf for now. Okay, there's one leaf. Next thing I'm going to do is highlight it and Control D or Command D is duplicate. As soon as you duplicate something, it's still selected. Go to your rotate tool and pick a couple points and rotate that leaf. Now you have two. Deselect everything with your X key. Select both of these by left clicking the first one, holding the shift key to select the second one. Command D to duplicate. They're still selected. Use the rotate tool and rotate those two around. Okay. Deselect. Uh, dupl duplicate again. There's I've done just one that time. Move it a little bit. Rotate it a little bit. Okay. Duplicate one more. X key to make sure nothing's selected. Um, select the duplicate we just made. Grab the rotate tool and rotate that one. Now, yes, they always have a center leaf um, coming in a little bit. Uh, look, it's hidden under there. So I'm just going to move this out from underneath. I'll go over here and I'll draft that one up. Make sure it comes to a nice point. Okay, and while I'm right here, hey, let's go and give it even a lighter color. Okay, to represent that new growth. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and move that into the center of my agave plant here. Okay, and there I've done it. As far as I'm concerned, when things are in context and that's a little plant, in a big overall picture that looks enough like an agave for anybody's taste. Uh, to make it a little bit more interesting, as you see here, that's um, that color at 100%. We can take leaves individually and downsize that one a little bit in color. Maybe downsize this one a little, even a little bit more, 60% or what have you. And suddenly it gets some, some light and shade to it. And I'll stop it there.